Hey guys, it's Lance at Max Sound Solutions, and today I discovered something really cool in VLC, the media player. It's free. You can download it, link in the description. Maybe you already know this, but you're able to create video wallpapers, which is really cool. So as you can see, I've got one of Apple's screensavers up here, and I'm hitting play on my keyboard, and there we go. I have a moving wallpaper. And I'm sure, you know, people have been doing this for a long time, but I have never had that going before. And of course it eats resources because you're playing back a 4K, whatever, 240 frame per second video. So it's going to eat up your resources. But if you're just typing emails and doing some light work, it's kind of nice having that moving background. And I can hit pause on my keyboard. I can jump through different backgrounds. And like that. So let me show you how to set it up. Okay, so we launch VLC and we have to create a playlist of our videos. I'm gonna grab all of Apple's screensavers and drag them into a playlist. And check out my video if you wanna have all of Apple's 50 gigs worth of screensavers on your external drive instead of them eating up your internal storage. Now we're gonna save this playlist. So we're gonna to go to save playlist and this is important you don't wanna save it as an M3U because that will launch Apple Music. You wanna save it as an XML shareable playlist format XSPF. So we're gonna give it a name, Apple Screensavers, and we're gonna save it in our Documents folder. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to go to our settings and then we have to come down here to show all. Select the video tab. Enable wallpaper mode. Make sure that's checked. If you want to, disable your screensaver so your screensaver is not going to kick in while the video is playing back. But you can also have your screensaver kick in or you can set a hotkey like I have it so that your screensaver just kicks in when you want it to. And now I'm back to the moving video. So now you don't want to have to launch VLC every time you boot the computer. You want this to happen automatically. We're gonna to go to our system settings and general, and then we go down to login items and extensions. And I'm gonna hit the plus sign and we're gonna go find Apple wallpapers. Open. Okay, so now when I reboot the computer, that playlist is gonna load, it's gonna launch VLC and I will have the wallpapers in the background automatically without having to start going to my dock, start VLC, right? So let's just give that a try. I'm gonna reboot the computer. And there we are. We have beautiful day in New York City playing back on our desktop. And of course, you can use any videos you want and you can use your Apple keyboard to pause. So for instance, I just pause the video. Even though VLC is not in the front, I can just pause it. And that, of course, eats up less resources. But you know, your CPU is going to be being used during these, just like it is when you're using Apple screensavers. There are times when you're not going to want to be using this, but you can just quit VLC. All you got to do is come to VLC, quit it, you're back to your regular desktop. And you can just launch VLC again and you'll have to open your playlist. But the point is, it automatically loads now. We don't have to worry about it, and I can pause it if I want to, or I can skip to the next screensaver. The other thing that's cool is you can slow down the speed. Like, let's go back to the dolphins, because they're moving around fast. They're like real time. And we can come here, and we can go to playback speed and slow them way down and have slow motion dolphins. So pretty cool, just a little tip. Maybe you know about it already, maybe you don't, but uh, I like it. I'm gonna take some of my drone videos and make a playlist out of that and use that for my background because I think that'll be a nice way to view all my drone footage, which I have a ton of and I've never done anything with them. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me that thumbs up and I'll see you on the next Max Sound Solutions video.